Ooh, what's up, internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Clarice. We have been told to watch these bonus features by uh, hundreds of people on the internet, so we're doing it. This is the Origins episode for Wheel of Time, episode mm -hmm. one, because we get nerdy nightly. And we thought we'd share it with you. That is right. We are two non-book readers who are so in love with the Wheel of Time series so far on Amazon Prime. Yeah. And we have been reading the comments and about mm, 500 people have said, hey, hey, did you hear there's these bonus uh, animated films? And so we're going to react to them yeah. uh, and talk about them. I can't believe we didn't know that they existed. I feel like Amazon has not done a good job of letting people know that they're there. Uh, yeah, do you want to know? Let's get into that first. All yeah, right. yeah, yeah. This is Amazon's website. Yeah. Look, the Wheel of Time. Mm -hmm. Now, you would think that if you scroll down this Explore page, you would find these animated shorts, but you don't. You do find some cool stuff. Honestly, we read through all of this information. There's some really cool information in there. Yeah. Some of it's a little confusing because they say like that um, under organizations, peddlers, I don't, I don't think it's an organization so much as it's like a, a lifestyle? Yeah, I, I don't know, but uh, all right. But if you want if you want to watch these animated shorts that we're going to react to just now, you have to go into an episode. If you go into episode four, mm -hmm. uh, you can see all four of them, which is nice. My name? But, oh God, okay, you have to get through the ad. With Marla Grayson. The court is appointing me to be your legal guardian. What? Oh, I can skip what? it. Great. Okay, so. It was the same actress. You go into view. Okay, so x-ray up in this top corner. Uh -huh. You go view all. Uh-huh. In this page, you go to bonus content, and they're under origin stories here. Jesus. I don't know why they made this so hard. Yeah, uh, Amazon, come on. Like, you have people that you pay money to, like, figure these things out for you. Like, like if you put out content for people, please make it easy for them to access it, because... Ideally, I mean, the the hope is that you want people to see it, not that you're trying to hide it. So yeah, and apparently, um, these are animated, which means animators worked really hard on them. So yeah. make them easier to find. Yes, please. Also, your full screen feature doesn't work on either of our computers. So um, I'm gonna have to add this in later. I'm gonna have to edit these. We're gonna add it in post. Oh, so much work. Ooh, uh, look at us getting fancy. All right. The shadow fell upon the land, and the world was riven from stone to stone. The oceans fled, the mountains were swallowed up, and the nations were scattered to the eight corners of the world. All was shattered, all but memory loss, and one memory above all others, of him who brought the shadow and the breaking of the world, and him they named Dragon. Hmm. Robert Jordan, you know you wrote these books, right? You could have just given that guy a name. Our sisters of the Aes have sought to understand the breaking of the world. 3,000 years ago, Luz Theron and the forces of light struck the Dark One and sealed him away. What an incredible art style. Yeah, Before beautiful. he was imprisoned, the Dark One delivered one last defiant strike. The Dark One poisoned the source of power for male Aes Sedai. With this, Luz Theron lost his mind. He murdered his beloved wife. He slew his children she bore him. Wow. God. His friends. He's caught. Everyone. The Dark One released Lou Theron from his madness, just to show him what he had done. But it wasn't Lou Theron alone who suffered. The poison spread. No male Aes Sedai was spared. And so began the breaking. Wow, a time of madness. It was a time of unchecked, unhinged rage that destroyed the world. They changed the face of the world and ended the age of legends. Humanity is driven to the brink of extinction. few survivors remained, are scattered across a broken and unrecognizable land. The breaking lasts for over a hundred years and ends only when the last Melchanela alive is gentled. 
By then, entire civilizations had disappeared. Wow. Centuries of progress and knowledge gone. The very lives we live today are shaped by this immeasurable loss. For those of you destined to take the shore, it would be among the most sacred of duties, as an Aes Sedai, to protect the world from another such breaking. That was really cool. Yeah. <sighs> Jesus. Um. Wow. That makes a that that changes a lot of my understanding of what's going on in the series. Actually. How so? Because I thought that the dra I was under the impression that the last dragon was a bad guy. I didn't understand. That the last dragon was just a dude who was corrupted by the Dark One. I... And so he became a bad guy after that moment. Because wasn't... what I From what I remember being explained as, the dragon was uh, someone so arrogant. He, he believed that he could defeat the Dark One. No, he does. He does. Yeah, him and a bunch of male Aes Sedai... Uh -huh. he, Trapped the Dark One. Yeah. And as revenge, the Dark One tainted the magic, but only on the men's side. Okay. And okay, so okay, after okay. he yeah, successfully yeah. captured the Dark One. Yeah, so the, the original so is the Dark dragon... One still in, like, prison or something? Or, or, like, what, magic prison? Maybe. Maybe that's why we haven't seen him yet. And he can just, like, like it's almost like he's, like, sneaking out in, like, little bursts, but he's not really out yet. Yeah, he can, like, pull strings. It's like, Sarah. Mm hmm Yeah, a definitely bit. a little bit of a comparison there. Yeah, no, the, the dragon was not, like, evil. Until... He was just cocky. He lost his mind. Yeah. I don't know that he was cocky, though. He did it, right? Like, the dark one is in prison. Like, that's why he needed to taint the male Aes Sedai. I, I was it. also, um, this kept calling the men Aes Sedai. And mm -hmm. I thought they would have, like, a... I thought, like, the Aes Sedai were the women. But the yeah. Aes Sedai were the order. Yeah. There just aren't men in it anymore because they have to be gentled. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, a gentle was... word for it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. I feel weird. It's uncomfy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uncomfy. Like, I, you know, and a, a, like, brilliant choice for that. It's obviously mm -hmm. intentional, but, like, ooh, yeah. Yeah, I, the, yeah, calling them the male Aes Sedai was... Yeah, I, I was not expecting that, actually. Um, yeah. That, yeah, that animation was beautiful. Yeah. And the, like, hole, the map that she had in front of her and just this, like, hole in it. Like, mm -hmm. um. Yeah, it was, like, moving watercolor. Mm-hmm. I really, yeah. And honestly, like, I was really impressed by the, the, it, it was not bright colors. No. It was, like, drab colors, but with so much depth. Mm-hmm. In, within, within like, the muted colors that they used. I, I'm really impressed by that. That was uh, dark and, like, not fun. I, I don't want to say that it was fun, because it wasn't fun. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially the cloak passing through the blood of his ex, or of, not his ex, of his, his dead lover. Wife. Like, over the face. Yeah, yeah. That visual was rough. Um, this world's a little rough. I mean, yeah, yeah. which makes it all the more interesting, right? It, it, yeah. it was, yeah, it was just, that was, like, that was a, it was a strong choice. I think it was really well done. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. I had something and I lost it. I lost it's a cute it. Face. Thank you. Let me try. Um, I'm going to try and think of it. All right. Well, then I'll talk. Um, I, I think that the, the thing that I'm most interested in coming out of this now is when we do find out who the Dragon Reborn in the series is, and I know that people who read the books have a really strong idea because it'll probably end up being the same person as the person in the books, I would imagine. But the 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 fight isn't the dragon versus the dark one now, which I which would have been interesting, but this kind of sets up this idea that it is the dragon has to fight. I thought the dragon was going to be immune from the going crazy from the magic. Mm. I thought, like, the dragon was the one man who could do it, right? Yeah. And now it is clearly going to be, he has the potential to do that, but there's going to be an internal struggle to do that. And like how how does the dragon reborn overcome the Dark One's influence upon the One Power 
And that, to me, is the setup for a really cool series if yeah. <laughs> the actor that is playing that part is up to it. And so far, all the actors in the show have really impressed me. So yeah, I think fantastic. they will be. But um, one of those five has a has a, m- a, a gargantuan task ahead of them. Yeah. yeah I was going to say momentous, but that didn't make it's sense. Gonna be, it's going to be fun to watch, for sure. Um, Did you think of what you were going to yeah, say? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't realize that the breaking was over the course of a hundred years. Yeah, that too. I thought it was like a moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was yeah. like, the world broke and, you know, things were crappy for a couple hours while it like broke. I don't know. But mm-hmm. like the fact that the actual um, like shattering of the world took a hundred years, it like it is wild. Like imagine like, imagine living through that and having kids through that. Like we are. To... <laughs> We are not. Um, <laughs> um, Greta so, Thunberg would say otherwise. Um, no, I meant we're not having kids through that. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, that, yeah, the world is a nightmare right now. Hey, but, as my good friend Dr. Ian Malcolm once said, life th- th- finds a way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Do you know what that's a reference to? No. You've seen it. Probably. I Yeah. Don't know who Ian Malcolm is, so I'm. Whoa! Names. Oh my god. Names, not oh my forte. god. Um, I'm sure if you were like this person, I'd be like, oh yeah. We did a reaction to the prologue to that franchise last week. Did a reaction mm-hmm. to the prologue. Mm-hmm. The pro what? Prologue? It was called the prologue. The thing that we reacted to. The internet's mad at us about it. They're mad at us. Yep. Oh, what did we react to that they're mad at us for? There's so many things. <laughs> Except Wheel of Time. The Wheel of Time people are never mad at us. They're tuning out of this video now because this is bad Yeah, content, I'm sorry. But... We're, 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 we're going on. It was called The Prologue. It was five minutes long. Oh, Jurassic Park. Yes. Yeah, no, that was terrible. Um, Sorry, it just was. Anyways, back to this. Uh, <laughs> this was great. This was great. I uh, really enjoyed it. Can't wait to watch the others. Um, I don't Malcolm have... is Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park. Oh, you should have just seen. said Jeff Goldblum. I know, but it was more fun to, like, help you get there. Was it? Yeah. I don't know. Chat. I, I'm trying to keep your brain sharp. Like, you know how, like, some people do Sudoku to, like, stay on it? You're just going to throw names at me, and, and I'll be like, uh, I don't know, until you give me enough hints that I can get... That doesn't seem like a brain exercise to me. What, what would you call it? I would. Ju- it, you're just giving me hints. It's not like I'm trying to, like... You sussed it out, though. Sort of. Anyway, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. Tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, episode two of us reacting to the animated shorts will drop. So Mm -hmm. uh, come back to the channel for that. If you don't want to miss that video, uh, subscribe to the channel. Lots of people have subscribed from Wheel of Time stuff lately, so join them. It's been fun. (laughs) Uh, If you don't like this video, hit the dislike button or Mm -hmm. join the dark one in leaving comments in the algorithm down below because uh, the algorithm god is hungry. (laughs) The algorithm god is the dark one. (laughs) I mean, most of the time, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, you can support us over at pa- uh, patreon.com slash nerdy nightly or fanhouse dot, excuse me, app slash nerdy nightly. And uh, yeah. I'm not editing that up. <laughs> Do something nerdy tonight. Bye. Bye. <laughs>